안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm finally showing you how I do my base makeup as of late. I have been getting a lot of questions asking about what foundation I'm using, what highlighter I'm using, what is my base makeup routine. Recently, I've been trying to go thinner on the base makeup, and so I only use foundation when I need that full coverage, but for the most part, I get away with concealer and powder pair. I'm gonna start off with my concealer. The one that I've been loving is the Pony Effect Cover Up Pro Concealer in beige, and I like to use a tapered concealer brush with it. This one is the Sigma Precision Tapered P86, and I just kinda coat the brush all the way around, and I place just a little bit everywhere I need that extra coverage. This concealer is actually a gift from one of my friends here on YouTube. His name is Quincy, and it was so sweet of him to give me this concealer because it has been my life. And as I'm applying this, I am rotating the brush slightly so that I'm slowly switching over to a side of the brush that has more product. Right here. And I put quite a bit on these spot concealing areas because we need to go and blend out the edges. Bit of redness here. And now with my finger, I go around the area that I've placed my concealer without really touching the center part of the concealed area. That way I don't disturb any coverage that's there but I just blend out the edges of the concealer. And the reason why I do like to use a tapered concealer brush is because it applies a dense amount of product while still not really applying too much pressure because of the shape of the brush. Uh, something similar you could use as like an angled flat top or just a mini flat top kabuki type concealer brush could do as well. See how right that area, I touch the center of my concealed spot and it lifted off the product from on top of my mini breakout there. I just like to go back in and reapply that coverage and remember where the center of that coverage area is and then blend out just the outsides. Before I go and blend this top part of my nose concealer off, I'm going to apply my pore filler. This one's the Dr. Feel Good by Benefit. And I only put just enough for these areas that I do have a little bit of texture. And then we'll go and blend this concealer. And then I'll go in with my powder, which I'm actually not using Bare Minerals. I just like the container, so I mix two of my powders into this container. I think this one's discontinued now, but it's the L'Oreal True Match Natural Mineral Powder and the Mary Kay Loose Powder. The reason why I use these two is because this one's too light, this one's too dark, so I just mix them. Whatever matches your skin tone should be fine. And you want to make sure that it's mineral-based so that the formulation is right for the application. If it's a powder foundation, it might be too thick. If it's just a veil powder, it might be too light. I tap all the sides of the product so that when I go and open it, there's not just loose powder flowing everywhere. Grab a bit with my brush, smooth it out on the lid, work it into my brush. The brush that I'm using is the Rolled Powder 170 from Muse Beauty. This brush has been an essential key to my face routine and why my skin has been looking so good these days. Like, of course, my breakouts aren't as bad, but that flawless airbrushed look, it's this big fluffy brush. So if you have any big fluffy brush, whatever feels like a cloud on your face, it's going to give you this effect. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to place this powder everywhere that I've put my concealer just to set the product so that when we go and buff the powder it's not going to move the concealer around. I'm going to grab a little bit of powder per section of my face, work it into my brush before I go and apply it and just lightly buff it over the skin. Any areas that I need a little bit more coverage, I just go in, place a little bit more concealer there. Another dab for the other side. 
really lightly, like barely touching the face. And to make sure you don't have too much, instead of just swirling, you can dabble a bit and that'll remove any excess. The key to making this application look flawless and not overly drying is to make sure that your face is well moisturized beforehand. That means you've gone and used your creams and I find that an oil on top of your moisturizer always helps as well. Using a small fluffy but flat top brush like this one, I'm just gonna take a bit for under my eyes. This brush is from my makeup brush set, starting from the hollow of my eye socket and then working my way up. And now that our face looks flat, we're gonna add our definition. Excuse the dirty brushes. Um, I use these brushes almost every day. So first I like to start off with this blush highlight from Korea that my sister gave me. Looks like this. It's from Etude House and it's called the Orugol. Ogol? light blusher and I use just this random Tarte medium buffing brush. I grab my product on the blush side and go and apply to half of my cheek. I grab the product again to the inners of my cheeks and then grab some product from the top side of where it's more of the light area and go and apply it to the tops of my cheek area. And already it just gives such a healthy glow and it looks like I'm 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 alive. Same thing on the other side. The reason why I'm keeping it the same area on my brush is because I want how it looks on the palette to look on my face but just less divided, I guess. So that's why I'm kind of moving my brush around but I'm not twisting my brush or swirling my brush. I'm just placing the product and lightly blending it into itself. Then I take this flat foundation brush and I love using this for nose highlighting. I take just a bit of the light colors and I go in right on the top of the bridge of my nose, bring it down onto the bridge of my nose. Do you see a difference already? And then whatever is left, I'll just add to the ends of my nose and then I just take a tad bit for my cupid's bow just to add a little bit of some some I love how this highlight isn't as shimmery or sparkly as other highlights it's kind of like a satin finish sheen and it really makes you look like you're glowing from inside I find that you know, this is a lot of highlight that I've applied, but if you go and apply a lot of highlighter that has a lot of glitter and sparkle and shine, often it can highlight too much texture or make the skin look like overly bright. But I find that this one just gives such a nice dewy but glowy but kind of diffused soft effect. I'm putting the highlight first because I want it to appear that the highlight is coming out from my skin and not just placed on top of all of my base makeup. Next I'm going to go in with this Muse Beauty Precision Contour 174 brush and my trusty NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder. I'm just going to take a little bit on that tip, really knock it off and go in right beside where I've placed that highlight. I'm barely touching the pan. Really knocking it off. I'm just really carefully placing this product to shape the nose. And then I take a lot more for right by my tragus. Work this towards my nostril. A lot of people say, do this to contour, follow the hollow of your cheeks. You're just gonna end up looking hungry because that's what you look like when you're hungry. You want to highlight your bone structure. That's why we curve it towards the nostril because that's where our cheek lies and that's where the cheekbone sits. So that's why we're working towards our nose and not our mouth. And I do want to start my brush where I want the darkest pigment and directionally blend towards where I want it to fade towards. If I just go and apply back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, there's gonna be a big blotch right here because you're placing the product, blending it, 
placing the product, blending it, placing it, blend, place, blend, and so you're gonna end up with two blotches and like a streak. So blend as you go. Can I just say as well, I love how versatile this brush is. The size is perfect, the shape is perfect. If you're interested, I'll have the link below to this brush set. There's 10 brushes, super affordable for the quality, and I don't just say that because Jen Meej Muse from here on YouTube created these brushes, but because I use these every single day over all the three to five dozens of brushes that I own. And then I just take a little bit on my jaw, but when I go, I go under my jawline, and then I kind of bring it up a bit to connect to my earlobe. And this shapes my face a bit more. You kind of carve it out, kind of fade it a bit as well. But does it make it look too drastic? This is the bone right here that the popular Korean jaw surgery shaves off. So they cut from your earlobe to your chin. And that's basically what we're replicating with the contouring is a slimmer jaw that creates that V line to make our face appear slimmer. And finally, with the blush, I have in a plastic baggie because I dropped the compact, of course, Clumsy Nami, with my 173 angled blush Muse Beauty brush. And I just place this right in between that contour and highlight right on top of my cheekbone. And I bring it in a bit to the center of my face just ties it all together. It's not too much, you don't see Neapolitan ice cream. It basically looks like it's coming from you. You can see that I'm grabbing a bit and applying it as I go. I'm not grabbing a whole bunch and then hoping for the best. I'm being intentional with how much product goes on my brush, put it on that specific area and go back in for more for a different area. This mirror as well. <laughs> Jen gave me this mirror after I did a video with a mirror stuck to my tripod and it was like literally like more than a meter away and I couldn't really see what I was doing but I had no handheld mirror so Jen gave me this when I went to visit Korea thank you Jen that was so thoughtful of you anyway it's been very helpful thank you and I just like to throw a bit of blush under my nose so that it appears that the blush is coming from everywhere inside my body I hope this was helpful do you do all these steps for your own makeup? I feel like the way that I was talking in this video was kind of instructor-ish. So I hope it was helpful in any way. I will have all the links down below as well. And that's how I've been doing my base makeup recently. I hope to see you soon. Bye! Today's feature comment is from Courtney. What camera do you use, girl? Thank you for your question, Courtney. We use two cameras currently. Um, actually, we use three, but mostly we use two. We use a Canon T3i. We use the Canon G7X, which is the one that I'm using right now. And we use the Panasonic GH5. All our equipment will be linked down below. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified for new videos right when they come out and to become part of the Nacho Band. I also post very frequently on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, so check these platforms out if these are platforms that you use. And that's it, so I will see you next time. Bye!